Yeah, friends. Next topic is bill of exchange. Very important topic in examination point of view. Uh, what is bill of exchange? See, we have two persons, A and B. A is seller of goods. B is buyer of goods. So, A has sold some goods to B and B has to make the payment. Now, A has given some time to make the payment. So, A draws the bill in the name of B. That is, A prepares the bill. A makes the bill. Signs it. That is, Mr. B has to pay rupees, say, 100 on or before say 31st March 2017 so this is the bill he has made this bill a has a that a seller will make the bill and sends it to the B B accepts the bill B signs here B accepts the bill that is B is accepting that I need to pay a a hundred rupees of hundred on or before 31 3 2017 or say on 31 3 2017 now a has this bill that is a bill which is accepted by b which says that he'll receive amount of rupees 100 see now this payment of 100 is being received after three months right now a can hold this bill till three months and then can get the payment of 100 from b Instead, A can endorse this bill, A can endorse this bill to C, to whom A has to pay 100. So, on due date, B has to pay this 100 rupees to C. Another option available to A is, A can discount this bill, A can discount this bill with the banker, that is, he is endorsing this bill in the name of his banker. So, banker say bill amount is 100. So, banker pays him say around 90 rupees duly deducting the commission. So, now bill will be with the banker. On the due date, payment from B will be getting to the banker. Banker receives 100. So, he will adjust this 90 to his account, loan account and remaining 10 rupees he will pass on to Mr. A. Clear? So, this bill made by the seller duly accepted by the buyer is called bill of exchange. Normally, bill of exchange will be enclosed to the LC. In LC documents, one of the documents uh, which form part of LC is bill of exchange. What is LC? LC is a non-fund based limit, right? See, I will explain this concept of LC also once. See, A is seller of goods, B is buyer of goods. Now, B has given an order to make, say, 100 pence. Now, A asks, give me the amount. 100 pence, say, this cost rupees 500. Now, A asks for payment. Now, B says, if I make the payment after receiving 500, if you are not making the shipment if you are not sending the goods then i'll be at loss so b is not having trust on a to make the payment in advance so b asks no no you send me 100 pence first then i'll make you the payment now a feels a does not trust b see after sending the 100 pence if b is not making my payment so, there is no mutual trust between the two parties who are involved in the transaction. So, now B takes an LC. B goes to his banker and takes an LC in favor of A. What did that LC say? LC has some conditions. If you sell or if you ship these 100 pence, 100 pence of blue ink, with a size of say 10 centimeters lc has various conditions so if you fulfill the order with these specific conditions mentioned in lc then you will be eligible for a payment of rupees 100 this is being guaranteed by the banker so b gives lc letter of credit to a 
based on LCA ships the goods and under LCA presents the bill of exchange. A gives the documents to his banker that is as a proof of shipment. He has made the shipment. So A gives the documents under LC to the banker and based on that banker pays the amount and later on collects the same amount from the B buyer. So one of the document under LC is bill of exchange. Bill of exchange is a bill made by the seller which is also accepted by the buyer to make the specified amount, make payment of specified amount on a specified date or after a specified period of time. Clear? Bill of exchange is defined under section 5 of NI Act. Section 5 of Negotiable Instrument Act. Now once we will go to the definition. Yeah. Bill of exchange is defined as an instrument in writing signed by the maker. Instrument in writing that is uh, the bill is made and it is signed by the maker. The bill will be signed by the seller, maker of the bill. Containing an unconditional order to pay certain sum of money only to a specified person named in the instrument or to his order to the bearer on a certain fixed date right it is an instrument in writing prepared by the seller that is maker of the bill signs it then it is also accepted by the uh, counterparty and it is an unconditional order to make a payment to a person mentioned in the bill or on his order to some that is when A is endorsing this bill to C so the, the uh, C is the person who is eligible to receive the payment. So B can, it is an bill of exchange is an unconditional order prepared by A seller and signed by him ordering B to make the payment either to A or on to his order to C to make a payment of specified amount on a specified date or a specified or after a specified period of time. Clear? It is defined under Section 5 of NI Act. It is an instrument in writing signed by the maker containing an unconditional order to pay certain sum of money only to a specified person or on to his order to the bearer on a specified date or after a specified period of time. Right? Number of parties involved in bill of exchange. There are three parties to bill of exchange. Drawer, drawee, pay. Who is drawer? One who makes the bill or one who draws the bill. That is seller will be the drawer. Then drawee, person on whom the bill is paid. That is person who has to pay the amount. That is buyer is the drawee. Seller is the maker and is called drawer. Buyer is the person who need to who needs to pay the amount and is called drawee. And third is pay person who receives the money. Drawer and pay can be same persons. See one who is making the bill seller can receive the payment. So he can be pay or pay can be different person. Seller can endorse the bill in favor of a third person and third person may become pay. In our example a is drawer, B that is buyer who need to make the payment is drawee and the C in whose favor the bill is endorsed is payee that is one who is receiving the amount. Clear? Now bill of exchange compared to a promissory note. Promissory note is also, uh, see in bill of exchange the one who is selling the goods that is one who has to receive the amount prepares the bill, signs it and sends it to the person who has to make the payment. Whereas in promissory note, person who, who need to pay, that is B in our example, prepares the promissory note. That is he prepares an undertaking that I pay you some X amount of money on this X date, on a specified date and then he signs it. So in promissory note, it is an instrument which is prepared by the buyer. Whereas bill of action, it is an instrument prepared by the seller. And bill of exchange is an unconditional order to make the payment. Whereas promissory note is an unconditional 
undertaking to pay the amount it is an order to pay the amount that is a is ordering b to pay the amount it is an undertaking to make the payment that is b is undertaking to pay the amount clear the difference between bill of exchange and promissory note promissory note is defined under section 4 of ni act clear number of parties to promissory note only two parties promisor promisee or maker payee maker is one who is promising to pay one who is undertaking to pay that is promisor then promisee on whose favor the promise is given that is person who is receiving the amount that is payee section 4 of ni act promissory note two part unconditional undertaking signed by the person who need to make the payment that is signed by the maker that is the buyer itself prepares this promissory note unconditional undertaking signed by the maker two parties maker and payee or promisor and promisee then bill of exchange defined under section 5 of ni act it is an unconditional order to make the payment and it is signed by the maker both are signed by the maker whereas one is unconditional order and another is unconditional undertaking right two parties to promissory note three parties to bill of exchange uh, drawer drawee payee drawer is one who draws the bill or makes the bill that is seller drawee is one who has to make the payment that is buyer or on whose name the bill is drawn then third is payee payee is the person who receives the 